All right. Good evening, everyone out there watching. This is the Acoustic Sessions live on TuneHub. And believe me when I tell you, I am in the Halloween spirit despite wearing blue. And my guest you'll see in a moment is also wearing blue, but we both love Halloween. But as I start every segment, I like to talk about what's going on in my life because, you know, everyone wants to hear that. Whether or not this is like my therapeutic type of the week. So let me tell you what's happening. So I feel like we're starting to get to know each other a little bit more. So I want to tell you a little bit about my son. My son's name is Aiden. He's 11 years old. And Aiden, three months ago, slipped and fell outside running around with his friends and fractured his forearm. So he had a cast on for three months. And not this Monday, but last Monday, he finally got that cast off. Great. So fast forward to this previous Monday, two days ago, just two days ago, he's outside with his GT racer, does a jump, GT lands on his arm, and he breaks his forearm. So he's back in a cast again for another three months. So it's very, it's very traumatic as a dad. You're all worried. He's going to be fine. He had surgery to sort of reset the bone. And he's going to have the larger cast on for another three months. Now, where am I going? They're like, Jamie, this isn't comedy. Here's where it starts. So my son has called me. Now I'm his super servant because he's in this big type accident. And it starts with the washing, right? You can't get the cast wet. So I have to wash his hair over the sink. But today he tells me, dad, you haven't washed my feet properly. So of course, as a good dad, I'm on my hands and my knees scrubbing his stinky 11 year old feet. Fine. Okay, I understand that. Next comes, Dad, come in my room. I have a cast on. I can't turn on my Xbox. So I'm going in the room, turning on his Xbox. Dad, my food is too hot. Can you blow on it to cool it off? Dad, the TV's too loud. Can you turn it down? So I really think he's really soaking me here, but I am the super servant at the house. So that's what's going on in my life. Not to add the two dogs. And we're going to talk about dogs later, but so we have Great Danes in our house. We have one that's eight months old. And if you don't know about Great Danes, at eight months, he weighs about 130 pounds. His name's Ranger. And we have a second Great Dane, a puppy. He's about 12 weeks old. Now, he is about 30 pounds. So there's a big size difference, of course. Now, Ranger's been pretty good with the puppy with two exceptions. He doesn't want the puppy taking his toys, and he doesn't want the puppy sleeping in the bed. Yes, we are those people, the puppy... Uh, the dog, Ranger, sleeps in the king-size bed. Now, Ranger has a trick. They're very smart. He knows that if he tackles the puppy, if he tries to get the puppy agitated, the puppy will get mad and we'll have to put the puppy in the kennel, leaving Ranger all alone by himself. And he's up to this trick, right? So anytime that the puppy comes free, he's always chasing the puppy around, looking for the puppy to bark or whine. And then Ranger looks at us knowing, okay, it's time for the puppy to go in the kennel and Ranger's all by himself again. So dogs are as, almost as smart as humans, I tell you. I think they got one up on me in, in our house. So dogs, kids, the normal life, that's how it's been going this week. What do you think? I don't know. I think I'm going to survive. We're happy Halloween's coming. But enough of that. I got a very special guest here. Now, let me, let me get the name right here because we did practice it a few times. Kelsidoscope? Welcome. <laughs> Kelsey. You. So what should I go with? Kelsidoscope or Kelsey? Um, you can go with Kelsidoscope, but if it gets a little bit too much, you can switch it up. <laughs> if I get tongue twisted. <laughs> yeah. <that's> awesome. <laughs> I pro guaranteed I get tongue twisted 15 to 20 times. <laughs> during during the show what, what i'll do is i'll try and keep a count in my head mm -hmm. and then at the end of the show we'll uh we'll go the over under on 15 does that sound fair <laughs> Sounds good. awesome okay so do you want to start off with some music absolutely perfect so i'm gonna sing an original that i wrote recently and it's called dancing with my steady <laughs> all right Doubt myself again, keep abandoning my plan Cause it's not good enough Allowing perfection to mess with my direction Sitting down instead of strutting my stuff But I know this mindset gotta go Cause it's messing with my flow Ooh, 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 sometimes I don't feel ready, but I keep moving in and dancing with my steady. Ooh, 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 sometimes I feel no good, but I 
made one mistake Allowing the trolls to mess with my goals Watch instead of being part of the scene But I know this mindset gotta go Cause it's messing with my flow Oh, wow. I l- love how you started that off. A very positive song. You know, very, very heartwarming and uh, meaningful. Like, I love it. And such a beat. And I always tell, like, there's always a few performances throughout every week that I want to get up and dance. And usually it's later on in the show, but I almost <laughs> did it right off the bat. Now, I think I almost made you laugh. And it, probably, it wasn't because of any of my jokes, because we were talking before we went on air. Now, I carry this with me. It's my watch. It's an Apple watch. And what I was saying before the show is that a couple of weeks ago, Siri went off it just before they're about to perform music. So say, I'm not going to do that this week, but I have to carry my watch because I want us to stay on time. So just before you're about to play, of course, what did you hear? I let off <laughs> Siri again. So I'm so sorry about that. That's okay. So we're, we're going to consider that mistake one. I got 14 more to go <laughs> and uh, we'll keep on moving. Is that fair? Absolutely. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about yourself. So um, what is this instrument you're playing, this mini guitar? <laughs> so this is a ukulele. Okay. Um, yeah, since I have really small hands, uh, the guitar was quite challenging. So the ukulele, it was a lot easier for me. I also love it because it's um, like a symbol of peace within the instruments. <laughs> it has a pretty cute reputation. Um, I have been learning the cu- guitar, but I think... The, I'll never stray away from the uke for too long. <laughs> yeah, it, ha- it has this. Uh, so, in your opinion, and of course, I knew that was a ukulele. I, I <laughs> promise, a guy you guy who's me. hosting a music show should know <laughs> instruments. So, I, I I really do promise to you. Okay, <laughs> I promise. I knew that. But since you're learning guitar, do are you finding it more difficult to learn the ukulele or the guitar? Um, that's actually, that's a good question. I think the guitar is more difficult in terms of reaching the chords <laughs> and it also is much harder on your fingertips however i have to say that the guitar is easier in terms of making more diverse sounds with um the ukulele if you don't want all your songs to sound the same you have to work harder to get those different uh sounds get that different energy so they're challenging in different ways i'd say so so you're telling me that the ukulele is more harder on your fingers no, no, the opposite. <laughs> okay. I mean, maybe that's the instrument for me because I did try guitar many yeah. years ago. Yeah. And after about two times practicing, my fingers hurt way too much. And I'm like, not for me. I feel ya. But I will tell you, you kind of get used to it. And I actually would go as far to say that it hurts so good. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. There's a promotion. Keep <laughs> keep plugging through, right? Oh, well, look, we got one right here. There we go. <laughs> Maybe, maybe. Uh, I, I, I'm probably not ready for a duet, maybe in my mind, but those, there it is, eh? Look at this thing. It's so light. Ha, have you ever broken one of these? 
I no, I've had one stolen. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> because it's so light, it's easy to steal. <laughs> Someone you know. stole your ukulele. Yeah. Did did they post it online for sale, or they just no. added it to their personal collection? It's gone. Oh my god. I got the exact same one, luckily, because I love this one. It says peace in all sorts yeah. of different languages. But um, yeah, uh, it was sad. Oh, okay, <laughs> I I want to dig into this, and and then of course I want to get back to the music. So I assume as a musician. Your instruments mm -hmm. are like prized possessions, things that yes. you're really attached to. Yes. So like for me, if I've had something, I don't know what it would be. Okay, I'll admit it. It'd be like my PlayStation. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> so if that was gone, I would probably cry. But oh, I, right. I would assume that's that's pretty traumatic, right? Oh, yeah, I did cry. Yes. Uh, luckily, my sister said that it was probably someone who didn't have any resources to get their own so i made their right. life better by allowing them to steal it okay so i'm <laughs> gonna do you a favor if at any other time we have someone else come on the acoustic sessions mm -hmm. with the ukulele yeah I, i'm gonna see if like you have your initials on yours or anything any identifiable uh, marks on it like make sure it's theirs just look for peace and all sorts of different languages. Okay, if they have that, they are they're in big trouble. Yes, thank I you. I will not be asking them nice questions. I appreciate that. Okay, so uh, what song are we getting into next? So, um, this one's probably not quite as dancey, but it's called "Hey Little Girl." I actually wrote it um, a long time ago before I even started performing. Um, but I recently decided to take the course that I came up with that long time ago and finish it. So yeah, I'm really excited. It's kind of half new, half. And not while new. you're playing, I'm just going to pretend to play along <laughs> like I'm part of the team. Yes. Fair yeah. enough. Thank you okay. for those backups in advance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is called Hey Little Girl. of questions not knowing who to ask when everyone gets answers from the bottom of a flask daddy's never home but if he were you'd still feel alone hey little girl know your worth never question why your mama gave birth So is there a, a story, and I assume that there is, uh, behind the inspiration for that song? Um, I think, so I would consider myself a pretty empathetic person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so 
I feel like I feel the emotions of other people. So I'm pretty sure this happened because I saw a little girl and I just could tell that she was sad <laughs> and wasn't in the best situation. So I felt like I should write a song about it. Um, but also on that note, I feel like I, everyone when they're little, when they feel scared or uncertain, it's a song that you can reach to to feel like it's going to be okay. <laughs> and even as adults, I feel like we need that. <laughs> no, you, you're right. And, and and I'm already like, it's definitely two for two with like the positive type feeling. So where, if you're, if you're going to sit down and, and, and you're in the zone, I'll mm-hmm. use that term, could be used for sports, but <laughs> if you're in the zone, so forgive me for that, to, to, to write music, where do you draw your inspirations from? Are they things that you experienced in real life? Are there like a situation like this when you're, you know, walking down the street and you've witnessed something like where, where do you find yourself drawing your main inspirations? So how, how I'd see it is that I experience life and then process the emotions around it or the struggle or the positive emotions, whatever it may be. And then I'll be doing something unrelated, like usually in nature, as I was speaking about last time. And then like a chorus will come into my head or you know, like a part of the song will come into my head and then I'll put it in my phone or even just memorize it. And then when I get home, I'll like fill in the blanks with either my experience with it or what I know about the situation. Um, another way I do it is if I'm going through a hard time with something or I'm struggling, I, I try to think of a solution. And then once I have that solution, I'm like, oh, I want to share that with other people who are facing this challenge. And then I'll make a song based on that. No, I, I like that a lot. And one of the things that I can relate to is the fact that you write it down. And I don't know if you, like, you write it down immediately, but me, if it's not written down in 10 seconds, it's like it's never happened. So most of us carry our phones around everywhere. 2020, I'm in it, folks. We do. <laughs> We're attached to our phones. That's just life now. Yeah. So if I have an idea, an inspiration, or a joke that even if I think it's funny, like most of my jokes, I write it down in my notes file on my phone like immediately or else it, it, it's gone for me. Yeah, I I think, you know, there's pros and cons to having technology in our life yeah. so much. But one huge pro is you can be almost anywhere in the world. And if you do get that idea, you can record it and not worry about it. Yeah. The worst is when you don't <laughs> and you can't remember it. <laughs> So I called myself out for wearing blue, even though we're only a couple days out from Halloween. And before we went on air, we were talking about your love for Halloween. And, but you're not in Halloween colors either. Yeah. Right. So both of us sort of dropped the ball maybe. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Or we just wanted to go with the blue theme. Right. The blue theme, of course. We wanted to be cohesive. Yeah, that's right. (laughs) So... Why don't you tell the audience about your pretty cool costume that you're going to be wearing on Halloween? Okay, absolutely. So I'm going to be Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Um, As you may recognize, that is a Beatles song. So I'm going to be doing a video that I'll share on my Instagram and Facebook um, while I'm singing the song in my Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds costume. Awesome. (laughs) So if, if folks aren't following you on social media, on Instagram or IG, as cool kids say, or Facebook, where can they find you? So on Instagram, you can find me um, at Kelsidoscope Official. And on Facebook, you can search me under Kelsidoscope. And you spell Kelsidoscope K-E-L-S-E-I-D-O-S-C-O-P-E. <laughs> 27 letters. <laughs> no, it's cool. It's such a cool name. Thank I you. love I wish I had something cool. I'm just Jamie. <laughs> Cool too. Well, actually, when I entertain, I'm JPK. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's just Jamie Patrick Clomp. There's nothing interesting behind <laughs> that, but that's a nice ring to it, though. I guess so. No, no, no. You, you're just you're not being kind <laughs> because <laughs> nothing goes with Clomp. There's nothing. Okay, there. There. I've ex- in it's Dutch, and it, it's not even cool like a superhero. It means wooden shoe. So oh. maybe forgive me, Dad, for talking like this, but it's just. <laughs> It's not a cool last name. It doesn't even have a cool meaning. Clomp, clomp. You can imagine the amount of teasing we got growing up, and it's all true. I think you should bring back the wooden yeah. shoes. You know what? I, I probably, when I was getting teased for like my last name when I was younger, I needed one of your positive songs. <laughs> oh, the poor kid. 
<laughs> with the thin hair <laughs> and the wooden shoes needs some positivity things will get better soon <laughs> no okay i could totally write you that sometime. yes <laughs> yes and you're like uh, and i'll sing it too obviously after you heard me okay so what are we going to hear next all right so my next song is called someone um this is a song i sing last time but i want to sing it again it is about those times in life where you need to let someone go um, because it's the best for both of you. Um, this was inspired not by a, a specific breakup, but just by breakups in general and like how to approach someone in a way that's empowering. Um, so this is called Someone. Someone you thought that would always be there Someone you thought who would always care Someone you gave a piece of you to Well honey, I'm gonna tell you what to do Let him go Let him fly just like a butterfly Let him soar Wish him well on the way Go within So he who can go without go couple observations of course i love how you introduce that based on experience of past relationships <laughs> yeah. so have you ever had and i'll just say x <laughs> hear the song and go hey i know that's about me <laughs> has that ever happened to you um i don't think so because yeah. i actually wrote this song when i wasn't going through a breakup oh, oh. <laughs> the chorus came to me but you know how i was saying how sometimes it takes a while to process things and mm. then the song will come so it could have been about um like the uh, breakup that i had experienced yeah. before but it's probably like a, a um accumulation of the breakups i've been through and what i learned through all of them right but i hope m most of my ex-boyfriends and i are on good terms <laughs> <laughs> yeah. sorry if that's offensive <laughs> yeah it's not offensive to me but if, if, if someone that i dated in the past wrote a breakup song mm -hmm. even though it was probably not about me yeah. i would think it was about me <laughs> i'm like hey i never did that <laughs> okay you're you're right i get a little jealous at times <laughs> i admit <laughs> but busted i i'm finding you know as i grow older i draw my relationship advice from from two key sources mm -hmm. 
now here it is. Yeah. One, if I'm looking to be a little more strong-willed, yeah. I go look at Victor Newman on Young and the Restless. Nice. That's my guy right there. Right. Young and the Rest, he, he never loses. Now, if I want to be more soft-hearted, I watch the Hallmark Christmas movies. Aww. You know, it's great. <laughs> you know, you always get the tough lawyer from the big city yes. that moves to the small town. And then he sort of has a change of heart and he moves his practice to the small town and helps out the community. Yeah. Or maybe you don't watch Hallmark movies. <laughs> They're great. There's like 23 new Hallmark Christmas movies coming out, actually starting on the 31st of October, Halloween. Great time to start a Christmas movie, and and that's that's where I get all my life lessons for. That's from. awesome. There we go. <laughs> so, like I said, we talked about like your songs, and they have a very positive, inspirational feel. Have you ever written a song when you were upset or angry? Um, yes. Yes, absolutely. I actually have a f- couple songs I would call protest songs about social issues, I would say. I haven't played them live yet, but everyone could be excited about what I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That that That's awesome because uh, do you have a different, how can I put it, um, when you're feeling in a good mood or if you're feeling in an off mood and, and I'll use the term angry even mm-hmm. though it doesn't have to be to that degree right. do, do you feel uh, is there a different writing sense that comes to that or is yeah. it just the, sort of the same like to me if I'm angry I'm writing fast and I'm blasting everything down immediately on a piece of paper and if I'm feeling happy I'm a little more gracious with my writing That's is it just point. me or is, is that something you also experience I totally relate to that actually um, as you mentioned that I did realize that the songs that I wrote when I was more angry or sad come out right away while the happy ones take longer to write. So yeah, it's interesting when they're more emotionally charged with like negative or sad uh, emotions, then they do happen f- more quickly. So yeah, I would agree with you on that. M- maybe there are some good points to being angry then. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. So uh, I know that you're playing all originals tonight, which yeah. absolutely is awesome. So. Thank you. What, what do we have up next? We have a song called Peace and Freedom. This is one of the first songs I started performing live. And then I realized I have not performed it in a really long time. So I want to bring it back. Um, this one is called Peace and Freedom. And I said, where are the songs of peace and freedom? I hear music on the radio, but I, I can't feel them. I said, where are the songs? Where are the songs? Where are the songs for peace and freedom? And sometimes in this world I go from ocean to ocean. And sometimes in this world I don't feel no motion of love. And sometimes in this world I go from street to street And I don't get a smile from the people I meet And I said, where are the songs for peace and freedom? I hear music on the radio, but I, I can't feel them I said, where are the songs? Where are the songs? Where? Other songs of peace and freedom And sometimes in this world I turn on the TV And I feel down from the violence and hate I see Where are the stories of the heroes and good? I know people would choose to love if only they could And I said, where are the songs of peace and freedom? the songs of peace and freedom and sometimes in this world i seek a divine beat but in so many ways the divine have taken a seat where are the stories of the heroes and good i know people would choose a love if only they could and i said where are the songs of peace and freedom I hear music on the radio, but I, I can't feel them. I said, where are the songs? Where are the 
the songs. Let's make more songs for peace and freedom. Ah, yes. That might be my new favorite. Oh, thank you. It went up the, yeah, actually, I absolutely love that song. So <laughs> let me ask you a question. Um, are you used to the camera setup now? Um, I'm getting there. Yeah. I think so. I think I've improved. <laughs> We're getting there. And I talked about it last week. And this really goes into what I really want to talk about, TuneHub. But just before we get there, it's the amount of work that goes into production of a show like this. And, and they really should do a behind-the-scenes type video to show all the work. But as, as I was, we were talking last week on the show, how it's set up is that there's a camera on me and there's a camera on you. And this is going to lead me into my second mistake, probably more, but the second one that's counting in my head. So while we're having a conversation, I'm staring at my camera and you're staring at your camera. Yeah. But our eyes aren't connecting like <laughs> normal people would do in a conversation. So we're not really looking at each other. Yeah. The benefit is, is when you're singing, the camera's on you. So I should be able to watch your performance. But what do I spot myself doing? Staring at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. You I'm like, I can sure? tilt my head and actually see you perform. You know, I, <laughs> I, I get to see it live. So mistake two in my mind, 83 probably in the back room. <laughs> but nonetheless, how, how m my main point is, how amazing is it to be part of the TuneHub family and what they're doing here in Timmins? Isn't it awesome to have a company like this supporting entertainment and giving an opportunity uh, for artists to um, promote their craft. I completely agree. I'm glad you said that. So I have the opportunity to proclaim that to everyone who's watching. This is a, such an amazing opportunity in general. And in COVID, it's even more amazing. Like what an awesome thing to do to lift people's spirits. Um, also for the Timmins community, what a fantastic thing to do. This is, yeah, I just, I'm not being... I can't even describe how impressed I am because it's just really awesome. So thank you so much for having me and for doing this. It's been amazing for the community and for myself. I've loved it. So no, big thanks. <laughs> you're absolutely right. And I'm going to say what I say every week. And to me, I really want to get this out there. They're going to be like, oh, here he goes again. But it's true. I strongly believe that entertainment is a big part of a city's culture. Mm -hmm. And I find from an entertainment scene, there is a thick history here in Timmins. There, there's a rich history. Look, I just looked over at you. Now my <laughs> head's tilted. Now I'm back. But there's a rich history. I personally feel, it's just my personal opinion, the last few years it fell off a bit, but now it's coming back. And it comes back because we have organizations like TuneHub where you can come in, you can perform, live streams, record music, have yourself marketed, and that's in our own community. So if you're an artist out there that's looking for a platform like this, tunehub.ca, big green button, and come in. It, it, it's awesome here. So, and, and of course, the folks that you work with, like any company, it's the people, um, and then it's the brand, and they're absolutely amazing. So I would applaud for TuneHub, but then it's just the one-hand one. Can you, you could do two. Woo! Right? Go TuneHub! Don't drop my ukulele. <laughs> It has JK already initialed <laughs> on the back. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, it doesn't. But, but nonetheless, I'm talking so much that we're, we're, we're missing out on some great music again. So what type of uh, song are we hearing next? So I'm actually going to switch to the guitar. Um, I, as I mentioned, I'm just learning. So this is like one of the first original guitar songs and definitely one of the first original guitar performances. So it'll probably be a little rough around the edges, but I want I really want to share it with you. And um, sometimes when it's raw, it has a, its own beauty. So yes, I'm going to grab that guitar. All right. While they get set up, do, do you find, while you're getting it set up, if you already, and I'm assuming this is the second instrument you know of the play, or is there more on the list? I'm actually curr currently learning the piano. Oh my God. Three. I am really excited about it. It's been really fun. I find the guitar actually more challenging than the piano. Once once you know how to play one instrument, do you find you can pick up other instruments easier or it's just like starting from scratch again? Um, so I think for the ukulele to the guitar definitely helps. Um, I'm sure learning the ukulele also helps with the piano in a way that I, I don't register um, versus starting um, with um, no musical background. But um, yeah, they're definitely each their own. <laughs> <All right>. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I find it pretty amazing just someone knows how to play one. But I, 
thank you. I think, I don't know, I don't hear a lot of musicians tell people that that is really challenging to learn. So if you are trying to learn an instrument, um, be very gentle with yourself and don't give up because it takes a long time. <laughs> so take do one little thing at a time and you'll get there. There Just we go. Just in case anyone's on the fence. It is hard at the beginning, but keep pushing through. It's worth it. <laughs> Words of encouragement before the next song. I love it. <laughs> okay, the stage is all yours. Thank you. Um, so this one doesn't even have a name. Maybe someone could suggest one and um, I could name it that. But yeah, here we go. My new guitar song. Trapped in a box that they told me to make Trapped in the me that they told me to fake Dying to be heard but I won't say a word Dying to be free but keep swallowing the key So please tell me why I am I trying to be Fly high, but letting heights pass me by. Gotta make moves, but too scared of a bruise. Desperate for a chance, but too shy to advance. Desperate for a change, but letting you define my range. So please tell me why. I, 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 Please tell me You're telling me you're just learning how to play the guitar? Thank you. Huh. Yeah. Oh my! To me, that's the best. Like, I I find it inspirational, but like deep, deep down inside, I, I'm I'm jealous of people that could play instruments <laughs> and sing. Like, just jealous. I want to tell you guys though, it takes a long time because yeah. I've been learning like a chord here and there for a long time. I've just been consistently trying to learn recently, so it does take a long time. I think the key to learning an instrument is patience. <laughs> oh no! Okay, someone should have told. Me. Forget about instruments though. <laughs> I'm gonna go into my notes on my phone right when we're done here, and where it says <laughs> hobbies for 2021, where it says learn guitar. I'm deleting that. Thank you, because I pay, I didn't know patience was required. No one tells you that. I know, I yeah. right? You don't hear it much, but that's yeah. very important. Yeah, I want that YouTube video or like learn guitar in 30 minutes. Perfect. <laughs> you might be able to learn one chord. One chord. <laughs> it, there, is there any songs with one chord? Um, I can write one if you'd like. <laughs> there, there, there we go. All right. So maybe I'll about maybe 2022 the resolution will be 
one chorded guitar song. There you, yeah, 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 absolutely. For all the n- people who want to learn, <laughs> I've tried. I, I really have tried to get into music, uh, more comedy type music. We, we, me and my friend released something called the Timmons Song, and we were just recording something new today about people on Facebook whether they live a true or false life. So where the difficulties with me recording music is that we spent three hours recording it today. Then after I left, he goes, well, now the next eight hours trying to make your voice sound good. So So good luck with that, friend. (laughs) Please make me sound good. Please. I'm losing confidence. (laughs) So so what do you think? Are are we into winter already? Is it set in? I would say it's um, pseudo winter maybe. Yeah. Like it's winter. According to the calendar, it's not, but... It's winter. <laughs> well, we we had snow last October, didn't we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yet it's still a surprise every year. <laughs> yeah. Like, people tell me we had it, but it was less. But I swear to God, it was like 900 feet of yeah. snow October the 1st. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't think I was here, actually. But of all my years in Timmins, it's probably not atypical. It just feels atypical. <laughs> no, I, we, we always say that. So yeah. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what I, I've been up to uh, with all this snow. So Peter and I, DJ Taz, are performing a Halloween show in my front yard this Saturday, Halloween. But I got to make sure that there's actually lawn. So the last four days I've been this guy, I've been shoveling my lawn. I've turned into my dad. All the neighbors are looking at me. And of course, they're making all that do you think it's spring still type jokes. But I, I have green grass in front of my house right now. Maybe I should keep that up all year, or is that yeah, just weird? Th- no, I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It looks weird. Like, have you ever shoveled grass before? <laughs> you are really bored no. with your life if you're outside shoveling grass. Are you going to tan on there? Is that yeah, why that's the right. Place? I should just fill up the backyard pool again and just yeah. go all in, right? Beach party. All, well, all, all in or nothing. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so what's next? Um... So I can totally do another song. I didn't know how many I got, oh. but I brought extras for Hold sure on. in case let, you have Let me one. look at the watch <laughs> and not turn on Siri. We got 15 more minutes. Awesome. So hopefully it's not me talking for 14. <laughs> uh, I'd love to hear a couple more songs. Absolutely. I'd love to play more. Okay. Um, so this is a song I played last time. Um, it's called The Secret to Life. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I see people hating on each other Forgetting that we're all sisters and brothers Sometimes I see people hating just for fun Forgetting that deep down we are all one Cause secret to life is everyone is beautiful The secret to life is everyone is grand Secret to life is everyone is wonderful Even if it's so wonderful that you don't understand Even if it's so wonderful that you don't understand Your life's precious secrets ain't nothing new It's a simple act of loving in everything we do Your life's greatest treasures we've all been told To spread lots of kindness till we grow old Cause secret to life is everyone is beautiful The secret to life is everyone is grand Secret to life is everyone is wonderful Even if it's so wonderful that you don't understand wonderful that you don't understand a little birdie told me of his old ways told me of a time hate filled his days said it was common with everyone he knew spoke poorly of the friends and family too he followed with the secret that he later learned in life that once you see the beauty everyone is so nice Secret to life is everyone is beautiful The secret to life is everyone is grand Secret to life is everyone is wonderful Even if it's so wonderful that you don't understand Even if it's so wonderful that you don't understand Oh, that's... uh, I have another question right off the bat Because your lyrics are so... Like, they have a great pace to them And and I find, like, you have a... uh, this is going to sound simple observation. 
you have a lot of lyrics in a song. And I, I know that sounds r- ridiculous. Well, of course I have a lot of lyrics. <laughs> but I guess the more intelligent question and the thing I should have just said, let's just rewind that and cut, <laughs> cut that out, Julie. What I should have said is that, do you find it more diff... Julie's not doing that for me. She's actually going to replay that question over and over. But I got a good build up. Maybe not. The question is, do you find it more difficult to learn the lyrics before the music or is the music more challenging to learn before the lyrics? So I have an easier time with lyrics for sure. I've been writing a lot longer than I've been um, a musician. Um, I've always loved writing. So lyrics to me are easier for sure. Um, Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Now, what happens and we'll call this hypothetical. It's happened to me many times, but say you're performing Mm -hmm. and you have sort of like this brain freeze where you forget the lyrics to the song, but it's your original. It could be anything. Mm -hmm. Have you ever substituted lyrics? Oh, all the time. Oh, all the time. I'm getting a little bit um, better, but I'm reading my music right now, so, because most of them are new songs. I haven't memorized them yet. Um, Usually they get pretty cemented, but I think this probably happens to everyone at every level. Sometimes you just forget. Um, So there's an art to knowing how to handle that. And I think, uh, say, I can think of a lyric that would make sense. Maybe it's not as good, but I can fill one in if need be. (laughs) Yeah, and plus plus it's original. You're allowed to do whatever you want. Yeah, absolutely. It's not like you're singing Sweet Child of Mine and go, you know, (laughs) Sweet Child Refrigerator, bad joke, but like, (laughs) People would know that, right? So yeah, it's happened to me, though. <laughs> the benefits of the original. To me, do you find it challenging? And, and this is going to sound odd again. Mm-hmm. You find it more challenging because the lyrics are in front of you. Um. Here's what I mean, and, and, and maybe give an explanation because you're like, "Where is he going with this?" Yeah. Say if I I have to put on a 15 minute performance, mm-hmm. I find if I have my notes in front of me. I'm constantly focusing on my notes oh. just because they're there. Right. Now, if they're not in front of me and if I stumble, it forces me to think on my feet and right. keep the focus on the audience. I think that's a bit of a difference between improv versus music. Because for me, I can mix them, but I have a different part of my brain for improv. So when I'm doing something improvised, and you ca- I can totally improvise a song. I really love doing it, actually. It's super fun. But it's a different part of your brain, if that makes sense, <laughs> versus the performance. But yeah, obviously reading off of this isn't as good. I can't engage as much as I'd like to right now. But sorry, I, they're pretty new. <laughs> yeah. do, 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 have, you, um, have you spent a lot of time performing in front of a live audience? Yes, I used to yeah. love doing live performances um, pre, pre-COVID, especially... Uh, when I was living in Toronto, I would do open mics all the time. Um, I actually started doing live performances when I was living in China. And I had an open mic that I like to go to every week. Um, and I started doing some gigs in China. And that really got me addicted to the process. I love performing. Okay. <laughs> ho- ho- hold on a second. <laughs> we we got to do a profile. Are you originally from Timmins? Yes, I am. Okay. Yes. Because I-, I was seeing Toronto. I was seeing China, <laughs> and I'm thinking right back to I. I get it; it's your home, yeah. but it, I, I would never figure someone who's uh, lived in Toronto then went to go explore China would say next destination Timmins, Ontario. <laughs> well, um, it's been great. Like I think COVID kind of motivated the move, but it's actually been lovely to be back here with my family. And I was a bit concerned about the lack of music outlets, but then. Thank you, Tune Hub. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> there we go. You, you got a big pull. I never get an applause. <laughs> and you just walk in here and get a big cheer in the back. I can't believe this. <laughs> this is unreal. <laughs> no, that you, you're, you're absolutely right about Tune Hub. And, uh, well, you know what? You chose to come back to Timmins, so there's no complaining about the snow. <laughs> yeah, true. Extra shovel at my house if you <laughs> want to see your grass like it's downtown GTA. <laughs> but nonetheless, I don't think you're going to be seeing that for... At least April. <laughs> the, the choices we make. Yeah. Do you think you'll ever write a song about someone shoveling their grass and, and, and make it sound positive? You know what? I, if that's a challenge, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're accepting all challenges. Yes. I, I love creative challenges. <laughs> okay. All right. So how about another song? 
Sure, I'd love to. Um, so let's do one I have memorized actually, so I can engage with the <laughs> audience better. And maybe I'll forget some lyrics and do some improvisation. <laughs> You're absolutely, you have, you did a perfect transition there because <laughs> we're you. talking about the cold yeah. winters, which you chose to come back to. And then you saying we deserve to be in the sunshine. So uh, I don't know what type of message I'm getting here. You know, it sounds like you're looking for the sun, but you came for the winter. So, <laughs> so yeah, I thought that was a funny <laughs> transition, yeah. but it's a symbol for living on the happy side of life. And even in the winter, there is sun. <laughs> okay. So. We have a few more minutes. Mm -hmm. This is about you and your music. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you two choices. Mm -hmm. Talk about your dogs oh. or play a song. Or say something quick because I know your dogs are important and play a song. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I wrote a song for my dog's birthday. <laughs> You're so good. Oh, my, I thought I had you stumped and look what you pulled out. I might get the chords wrong because I don't remember, but that's okay. We'll be doing a little bit of improvising. Okay. But I also have another dog named CJ. It was his birthday in August, so... This ex my love for him ex is it also included in this song. <laughs> what an answer. You did both in one shot. The floor is yours. <laughs> Thank ya. Little honey, she's so sweet. Little honey, she's paws for feet. Little honey, she's so darn cute. Little honey, she's sweet to boot. Little honey, she's so much fun. Little honey, loved by everyone. She's the one Little honey, she's so much fun Little honey, she's so darn cute Little honey, she's sweet to boot All the garbage she loves to eat Even though she can't be beat Little honey, she's so much fun Little honey, love 
Oh my god, <laughs> little honey. Thank you. Yeah. She Mine would be me. like uh, Big Ranger ate my <laughs> shoe. Big Ranger stole my spot in the bed. <laughs> Big Ranger took over my life. But little honey sounds a lot nicer <laughs> than Big Ranger. No, I'm sorry. I just love you, Ranger. <laughs> I do. She's you, a show. you had the absolute perfect answer there. I can't believe. <laughs> I, I tried to steal. Like I'm going to test your love for music and for the dogs. And you're probably like, yeah, he told me no hardball questions. And now he pulls that out. You know what? It was an absolute pleasure to have you here tonight. Love your music. I think it's perfect. We all know there's a lot of negativity in the world. And what you're delivering is uh, positive and positive reinforcement. So thank you very much for that. Oh, thank you yeah. so much. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. Nice and in return, I'm going to do a PSA. <laughs> if you find kaleidoscope, kelsidos- there you go. <laughs> kaleidoscope, no, kelsidoscope. Yeah, yeah. Did I say that right? Yeah. So you alternated, ar- alternated, al- <laughs> wow, I got it too. <laughs> okay. You alternated between kaleidoscope and kelsidoscope. No, <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Twelfth mistake. We just went under 15, so perfect. If you find her ukulele or if you have her ukulele, please return it. Give <laughs> yes, it to the please. Christmas. Get the Christmas love into your heart and please return it. Yes, it had a really nice case too. Yeah. Oh, and the case too, <laughs> please. <laughs> We're begging you folks. Anyways. This is Wednesday night. It's the Acoustic (gasps) Sessions. Thank you for joining us from the comfort of your own homes, and we'll see you next Wednesday. Thank you so much.